What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with my 13th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the classic FAL assault rifle, but before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the FAL. The country of origin is Belgium. The rate of fire is not currently available, but in real life is between 750 to 800 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 20. The fire type is 3 round burst only, and the reload speed is 2.80 seconds. Designed in 1947 and entering service in 1954, the FAL was designed by noted Belgian arms manufacturer Fabrique Nationale de Herstel, or FN for short. Firing the standardized 7.62 by 51 mm NATO rounds and featuring a fully adjustable gas system for tuning the recoil for all climates and conditions, the FAL was used in over 90 countries and has sold over 2 million units. Although the FAL is a selective fire rifle, most applications use only semi-auto mode as when fired in full auto the shooter receives considerable abuse from recoil and the weapon climbs off target quickly, making automatic fire only of marginal effectiveness. Our The Division variant of the FAL is a three round burst fire only, which in real life is not available with the FAL due to the heavy cartridge it fires. The FAL was hands down the best assault rifle I have used to date on The Division. Shooting the devastating 7.62 rounds and showing little to no recoil, the FAL is a headshot machine. Looking at the average stats of 37 accuracy, 28 stability, and an optimal range of 32 meters, this is a case of stats aren't everything and I was truly surprised at how well this weapon performs. Firing and burst mode requires a small adjustment period as most weapons in the division are full or semi-auto only and you will need to slow down your timing and get a more rhythmic feel to your combat. Timing the burst for when enemies are trying to move between cover is how best to use this beast. Most standard enemies require two to three bursts and the hip fire or blind fire in close quarters combat is not bad. My suggested mods for this weapon would be anything that increases your critical hit chance or damage. The FAL has virtually no recoil so even mounting a long distance scope might be a viable option. Don't waste your mod slots on anything reducing recoil, but instead focus on damage, enhanced ammo counts, or possibly even more range to maximize the effective kill zone of this weapon. I'm going to rate the classic FAL a perfect 5 out of 5 stars. With no noticeable faults, great range, spot on laser beam control, and heavy damage out to long distances, there is absolutely nothing not to like about this weapon. For those of you struggling to control a marksman rifle or concerned about a slow rate of fire, perhaps finding a high-end FAL and tricking it out is just what you need. I can't say enough about this weapon and how different it performs from the rest of the assault rifles. It's quite possibly one of the best weapons in the game right now. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to the rest of my The Division weapon reviews. Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.